Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to my crafting channel. Today, or tomorrow, or this week, we're going to be doing a blanket. So this um, stuff, of, or this stuff, this pile, my fabric we got early in the year, my son and I went to a crafting um, de-stash market and we picked up this length of minky and it was eight dollars which is a pretty good deal so it's 150 by 130 centimeters so i was thinking we could turn this into just a throw rug for my daughter and there was also someone selling fat quarters of fabric i think they're fat quarters we picked up this harry potter bundle now uh my daughter loves harry potter she was actually 11 this week i meant to make this for her birthday but i was just about to do it um and she got her birthday present early from nanny and poppy and guess what was in it a blanket so then i kind of lost all momentum for making it but i'm going to make this because i've got it i can always give it to her for christmas so we've got our mischief ma mischief managed like harry potter and that's like jelly bean flavors oh because they had the jelly bean flavors that's right yeah um What's this one? This is kind of just like wizarding stuff. Oh, there's the train. And the blues. That's a nice one with the owl. And this one. And who's this one? It's just got lots of words about Voldemort, I suppose. Anyway, the dark mark. So I, my plan is to just sort of, well, that was my chair, excuse that noise. <laughs> um, my plan is just to sort of wing it. I was thinking of just squares and joining them together until they were the size of this. Um, I wasn't actually going to put a layer of batting in there because this is just a throw rug to go on the on the on the couch because she's always stealing mine and it's really frustrating minky's really warm so i don't this is not going to fit a bed so we just thought i'd you know just a throw rug just for in the car um whenever she wants a throw rug so oh these aren't fat quarters these are length of fabric so what they're like half a meter oh this is even better that's that's doubled Oh, okay. Yeah, look. Oh, so they're all different sizes. Okay, well, it was a craft stash market, so, you know, things are going to be... This is a width of fabric, double. Okay, so they're all going to be different sizes. So, uh, I think I would just cut them into rectangles and sew them all together because that way they don't have to be consistent have like consistent like um, fabric a fabric b fabric c fabric a fabric b separate day because there's going to be like you know there's not very much of what was it this one or oh, this one i don't know but that's what my plan is so i wonder if i can make this in a day and get this project done I'm here ironing the fabric for the quilt, but I have a slight confession to make. Well, one, I haven't washed it, but that's not a confession because I never wash it. Um, my confession is, I'm thinking, can I minimize the amount of fabric that I use for this quilt in order to get lots of scraps? Because then this would make an awesome patchwork skirt. So that's my thinking. I think maybe it's this fabric that's making me think, wouldn't this cool, cool for a skirt? Yeah, I haven't actually seen this fabric before. But yeah, that's that's my current line of thinking. Patchwork skirt. But no, I've got to do this quilt. 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 Okay. Here we have the making of a quilt. All right. I've joined all the squares and now I'm just going to add the minky. I thought I would actually sew it directly onto the quilt top. 
I'm not actually putting um, a layer of wadding on this because one, um, it's just for the couch, it's not for the bed, and two, I don't have any and I want to get this done. So finished is better than perfect. Um, I have accidentally sewn like a couple of um, jelly beans to each other and a couple of the blue ones to each other, you know, side by side, but uh, you know, I don't care. That's what happens when you're doing it on the kitchen table and then all of a sudden people will pop up out of nowhere and you've got to kind of hide what you're doing. Or a kid falls sick and then you've got to quickly pack up, tend to the kid because it's not the same day. It's a couple of days later, I think. I don't even know what day it is. It's a school day. That's all I know. Um, I'm going to sew this. I'm going to sew it like a pillowcase, like I'm um, going to so almost four edges and then turn it around and then just close the seam up because that's what i want to do i don't know if it'll work hopefully it will but yeah i might just go sew this top seam and then do the edges gonna change the foot i'm not going to do quarter inch seams i'm just going to do like i don't know foot foot width seams is there a technical word for this just kind of winging it do I have to have an accurate measure for this no how about like that width that way when it turns over I've got that down yeah that sounds about right to me I wonder if I should have the walking foot on I try not to stretch the top I'm going to try to sew along the, as a measurement, I'm going to try to sew along the edge of the bobbles. Because <laughs> it's not exactly cut flat. It was really hard to cut because it was, um, I was trying to even it up, but it's just that fluff central. I've now sewn all the way around it, except for this section here, which I am going to just turn it inside out. I've almost finished turning it inside out. Goodness. So I've got to, have to find the corners. Like a pouch or a teddy bear. You've got to find the corners and turn them inside and poke them out. And then I'll just sew it closed. It's finished. Now, I have never sewn with a minky back before on a quilt. Oh my gosh, why, why are we... Why don't all my quilts have a minky backing on it? Let's move the pink cushion out of the way. It's so soft. Oh my gosh. So, the back. Like, hello. Seriously, snuggle worthy. Yeah. Okay, so the right is probably back to front because I've got it on the reverse. But I'll put a picture up when it's like not reverse. But So yeah, it's a lap blanket. I mean, I guess you could put it this way, but then you don't get the benefit of the minky. It's so soft. So that looks, ooh, that's what it looks like. It's raining right now. And so when it finishes raining, I'll try to get a photo of it. I'm loving it.